Right now, an 18-year-old is in jail being held without bond, accused of pulling the trigger in the shooting death of a 17-year-old. Witnesses tell police the shooting was an accident, but police say Carivius Davis had no regard for human life. According to police, things began when Semyon and four other teens were visiting 18-year-old Caribius Davis at his apartment. The report states that Davis was waving around a revolver and allowed a 13-year-old to pull the hammer back, but didn't know what to do next. So he told the teen to fire the gun into a lake out back. Later in the evening, Davis, Semyon, and another teen were in the living room. According to the report, that's when Davis said, quote, let's play roulette. The witness says he looked down at his phone while Davis kept waving and pointing the gun. Moments later, he heard the gunshot that killed Semyon. Semyon's mother says she is still searching for answers. Why did he kill Tatiana? What the reason is for what? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Crime Circus. My name is Drip Drop, and I'll be your host as always. Tonight, I present to you a teenage boy from Florida, Orlando, Florida. He was in an apartment with some other teenagers, and apparently they were playing with a gun, and the girl ended up passing away. I took a look out there, and this video may be out there. However, the quality is inferior, and it's always better here at Crime Circus. You know that already. I have a good track record of never lying to my audience. If I say it's the best interrogation, it's the best version of this interrogation that exists, and this is. When my subscribers request videos, I can't always do them. However, a subscriber requested this video, so... We're all gonna watch it together. This video is now on Crime Circus. Now let's jump right into this interrogation video and see what this is for himself. Is you okay? Yes. Okay. Let's get these cuffs off of you, okay? Thank you. Uh, I, I hope so. Um, you have a key? Yeah, I have, you know, I have a key. I have, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have got one. Go ahead and stand up for us, Greg. Take this off. 
bear with us. Had this for twenty some years. So be more comfortable. We are having close the door. Yeah. We're Not come out. Come on, come give you a chance at this. Yeah. Maybe you can. Which I definitely want to break the break the key off. Breaking up in my head. It gets to it's like it is it yeah, twisted it's, outside of the range where the yeah. keyhole is. It's either turned this I think it's turned this way. You think, I think the, the, the top part is turned this way? way or that way? I think it's that way. This way? Mm-hmm. Just the, pressure coming up that doesn't want to ah. it's like it twisted and it's like the, the key had twisted the metal it mm-hmm. twisted you know I think this uh, that this part twisted. twisted in there Okay. 
It's double up. Yes, so I'm not gonna tighten up. No, it's not gonna tighten up. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not tight. Tighten. Okay, good. Is this is double lock this? Hey, Barney, can we get that? Yeah. I'll double lock yeah, the other side. Lock, yeah. Go, go ahead, have, have, have a seat. Yeah, they found them before. Yeah, what about them? I, I gave them to you. Yeah, I, yeah, I have. Okay. I have. I have. Don't worry about it. Okay. Asking, do, do you know why? Yeah, I, I, I will tell you. I'm going to ask you, do you know why? Okay. Okay. Are you at, the, at the house? Okay. At the house? Okay. Oh, yeah, you, you, you do have a warrant. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't, I don't lie to people. Um, there's two sides to, two sides to every story. I know what I know what we've been told, but just because we're told something does not make it true. So okay. Like okay. 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 Just, just listen. Okay. That's that's what I say. It, it that doesn't make it true just because people say something. Okay. So what I want to do is ask you some of ask you some questions. Some of the uh, same questions. Is that fair? Yes. Okay. First, I want to make sure I have your, your name spelled correctly. Is it C A R R E D I U S? Okay. I O U S. How do you pronounce that? Caribius. Caribius. Okay. What's your middle name? Devante. Devante, can you spell that for me? E-E-V-O-N-T-A. -E and your last name? Davis. That I can spell. What's your date of birth? 041201. And where are you living at? 3920 Timber Trail. 3920 Timber Trail. No the zip there. Okay. Your phone number? You still in school? Did you graduate? What was the last school you attended? Chancery. Chancery? Where is that at? Okay. Prior to that, what school did you attend? Evanston. Evanston. Did you play ball there? Yeah, I didn't get a chance, so I broke my hip. How you broke your hip? Twice. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. How long were you out uh, in the hospital? Two weeks. You say you can never play again? Okay. Since you came in here with handcuffs on and you know you're placed under arrest, I'm going to have to advise you of your rights before I can ask you any questions or I'll be breaking your law and that's one thing I will never do. Okay? You ever had your rights read to you before? Yes. Okay. I'm going to go through them one by one. If there's anything you don't understand, stop me. 
and I'll explain it to you. Is that okay? Is that fair? Okay. Can you, can you sit up? You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand what that means? Is that yes? Yes. Okay. Anything you say may be used against you in court. Do you understand what that means? Yes. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before and during questioning. Do you understand what that means? Is that yes? Yes. Okay. If you cannot afford a lawyer and want one, won't be provided for you before questioning without charge. Do you understand what that means? Yes. Has anyone threatened you or promised you anything to get you to talk to me? Did I threaten you or make you any promises? No. Okay. I know you may be a little un uncomfortable now with the cuffs on, but um, bear with me, okay? Um, previous, before I ask you any question, do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you give in this case should be the truth, the whole truth, and then but the truth? Okay. Uh, this is what I want to ask you about. Let me show you this picture. You know who this is? Is that yes? Yes. Okay. Who is that a picture of? Tanti. Okay. How long How long have you known Tanti? Okay, you, okay, you guys went to the same high school? Is that yes? Yes. Okay. Would you consider her a friend or would you, were you boyfriend? Okay. Anything romantic like boyfriend, girlfriend? No. Prior to going to Evans, did you know her? Sure. I mean, before you went to Evans, did you know her? That's no? No. Okay, so about how long did you know her? A year? Two years? About two years. About two years? Okay. You know she's deceased. Correct? Okay. And I, crazy. I know this is difficult. I, I, I truly do. I truly do. We've had this case since day one, and, and it's sad, and it's been sad to everyone we've spoken to. Wrong, okay, and, and, and we may have it wrong. And we may have it wrong. That's, that's why I want to talk to you. Okay? So we can rectify whatever we have wrong. When was the last time you saw Tati? No. The day she died, did you see her? No. The day she died, you remember? You remember what day she died? No? Okay. It was Wednesday night. Okay? So you... Walk me through what happened. Walk me through what happened that day. Wednesday. Wednesday. Well, I know at some point, um, Mike picked you up. Mike what? Mike picked you up. Did he pick you up in a car? No? No. Do you know who Mike is? No. Okay. Pick me up. Okay. Bear. Bear with me. Okay. You know that person? You don't know this person? Let the record reflect. I've just shown Kyrie Florida DL photo of Michael Brown, black male, 3 5 of 2003. And you don't know him? No? You're not, you're not in your head. Is that no? Yes. I mean, do you know him? No. Okay. Um, You know Jamari? I'm gonna show you this picture. You don't know this person? Oh, you do know her? Okay. What do you what is she to you? I don't know. 
Is, is it your girlfriend? I mean, that, that's, I don't know you guys. That's why I'm asking you. I know what she said. Are y'all girlfriend, boyfriend? That's what she said. That's what she said. I'm not going to lie to you. That's what she said. Is that accurate? Okay, is that yes? Okay. So you, you know her sister? Um, the sister. Fourteen year old sister. You don't know her. So the only photo, the only person you know that I've showed you is Mari and Tati. That's yes. Yes. Okay. So tell me, when was, when was the last time you, you saw Tati? I asked you that earlier, and you were not able to answer. You don't remember? Okay. Where were you living at during that time, on Wednesday? Thirty nine twenty Timber Trail. Have you ever lived on Cinder Lane? Okay. That's your sister house? Is Darian your brother? Mm -hmm. Okay. You you didn't stay with Darian? No. So if Darian say you guys stayed together, that would be a lie? Is that yes? You won't tell you that because I didn't stay there. Okay. Now, Darian was there the day that Tati was killed. So let's 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 not let's not play games, okay? You don't know what I'm talking about? So basically, whatever they say is true, since, since you don't know. See, it's hard for me to ask you questions when you're saying you, you, have you ever even been to that apartment on Cinder Lane? Yeah, so you've been there? Out. That's your sister's house? Okay. When's the last time you were there? Go there every now and then and check up on my little brother. Uh, chill with him. Okay. Who all stays there? Your little brother? And who else? My older sister. And your older sister? What's her name? Abanisha Garrett. Abanisha Garrett. Are you aware that's where Tati was killed at? You heard? What did you hear? So I heard what the news said. And what did the news say? She died in that apartment. In that apartment? Okay. And prior to the news, you had no idea that that's where she died? No. No? Have you spoken to your brother? Speak to you haven't spoke to him since Wednesday? No? You dropped him off at 3920 Timber Trail. I did one time, but he didn't say too much. What did he say? He said he came to the police station. Okay, that's true. He didn't tell you what he told the detectives? No. No? This, this is what's Bob, I mean, why is everyone saying that you were with her when she was killed? The rest of the I was with her. Every last one of them. Kareem, I, I, I won't lie to you, man. Every last one of them sat in these inter interview rooms. Are they lying? Listen, if it was an accident, that's that's what you need to tell us. You need to tell us that. Y'all said I'm under arrest for, for what? For what? For murder. But if it was an accident, you need to tell us that. You need to tell us why you did what you did. And if it was an accident, then 
that's what you need to tell us. Whatever the truth is, that's what you need to tell us. Because all of this, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, makes you sound real guilty. You understand? When you have five people saying it was you, and these aren't people that dislike you. Now, if it was someone uh, who you had beef with and you had slept with their girlfriend or something while they were pissed off at you, then I would say, yeah, I can, I can see why they would lie on him. But we're talking about family members, girlfriends, people that really, really care for you. So there's no reason that they would lie. Can we at least agree on that? Okay. okay. Is that yes? You and your brother, are you guys close or? Okay. What about your girlfriend? She just became my girlfriend. Okay. You think she lied to you to get you in trouble? I don't know at this point. No? I don't know. Okay. What about, what about Mike? Who's Mike? Get the picture I showed you. He knows you real well. How do you know me? That's what I'm trying to say. Kyrie, have you ever met me? No. Have you ever met to take the stand? No. So someone had to tell us something. We just didn't pull your name out the air. It does not work like that. So be smart. Be smart. Someone had to tell us something. And multiple people had to say it. You got to understand this. This is this is homicide. Those people aren't going to lie because they can be charged. And now they can speculate as to it being an accident, but that doesn't mean much. We we need to hear it from the person, the person who did it, and that and that's you. Did you do it intentionally? I, I don't know. I don't know. That's going to be the big question. The big question in this case is not if you did it. That's not even that question. The judge had no problem signing the warrant if you did it. Okay? But I want you to understand this is all about what happened. Why did you do it? I know what they say. They didn't have anything bad to say about you. And to be honest with you, they uh, initially lied. Uh, well, I don't want to say lie. Well, they did not want to mention your name. But you can't expect them to uh, risk their freedom over something they had nothing to do with. No. Uh, you put them in a very, very awkward situation. I put them in that situation. Okay. Well, they had to tell the truth. And I hope you're not banking on that they're going to change their testimony because they won't. Because guess what? They will be charged. Okay. So if it was an accident, please tell us, for your sake, for the family's sake, because she's wondering what happened to her 17-year-old daughter. The mom is here now. Yes. Okay. I'll tell y'all, it was an accident. Y'all still charged me for the same thing. So what's going on? Listen, you, 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 uh, you've been in the court system before, right? Yes. Okay. So, you know, initially you get charged with something. That's what the police do. And we base our charges on the evidence that we have. Okay. You remember talking to me on the phone? No. So that wasn't you? No. Okay. Well, I left a card at 3920 Timber Trail. Someone called claiming to be you. That's why I didn't give them any information because people will lie to you. And, and they want to know about the case. And I told them I would only discuss it with you. And then someone, 30 minutes later, someone else called. And saying, first time they said it was, uh, I think they said Robert Jackson, a name such as that. 
That was the first time. Second time, they said it was you. And I told them I need to meet with you so I can see you face to face so we can discuss it. can meet with you. Okay, well, listen, it could have been someone else just being nosy. It could have been. And I know this has been bothering you. I, I spoke to your aunt. And I looked at your history. There's nothing in your history that indicates violence. Now, you, yeah. you've had sticky, sticky fingers, but you, I understand. I'm saying little burglary charge and little petty stuff such as that. But nothing like this. This is, this is not your character. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Like, so, so what happened? That's what I'm saying. So what happened? What happened? How does that 17 year old ends up dead? Charis, I can see it in your eyes, man. I can see it in your eyes. This is bothering you. This has been bothering you ever since it happened. And I doubt if you've had a, a, over three hours sleep at any point. Because it's not in your character. If you were a stone, cold blood killer, then that's different. You, you would have slept well and continued enjoying your life. But that's not you. And you may be afraid. I understand that. I understand that. But you can't lie your way out of this one. She's dead. She did not kill herself. I know what everyone else says. But I need you to tell me what happened in that apartment. Everyone said I did it. But how do they supposed to know that? Were they in there? You you tell me. You tell me. So if they're lying, then then tell me. Listen, if they're lying on you, and I find that they're lying on you, I will charge each and every last one of them. But what about me? If they're lying and you had nothing to do with it. But we're playing games now. We're playing games. Yeah, because we know who did it. You know who did it. I didn't bring you here to find out if you did it. That was never That was never in doubt if you did it. It's all over social media, but you know that. Because what do you expect them to do? You know they're going to talk. So it's all over social media. So it's no big secret. But why did you do it? Usually I sit in here with really bad people, really bad, who've been in prison, out of prison, no big deal, they've killed before, or shot people before. I rarely deal with someone like you. You just turned 18. Your history is not that bad. You haven't been an angel, but no violence. You did Silly stuff for kids to do sometimes. But look where we're at now. There's a difference between intentionally murdering someone and something being accidental. Like I said, if it's accidental, don't you get the same charge? Uh, not, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Every act, every act, every case is different. But I'm only asking you for the truth. Now, for all I know, maybe you did it on purpose. Maybe she pissed you off. I don't know. I don't know. Help me help you. I know it's difficult. So,
Sorry, um, and this guy was in the room with the dark clothes. I guess there was another girl there. I didn't really know her. She was in my room playing the game with the dark clothes. And then it was me, Tati, and the boy who got saved my life. I don't know him, but I know he was there. And everybody had a gun. Everybody. Guess everybody was playing with the guns. One on one on one. And hit Tati. And I want to say, screaming, call this one screaming. And I'm like, call the ambulance. Mike telling me to run, 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 run. So I just ran and I came back. And then he kept saying, run, so I just ran. And come in some band, I don't know where Mike went, but nobody else went. So I ran. Who all had a gun? You say everybody, but let's, let's go one by one. Did Mike have a gun? What type of gun did Mike have? I don't know. Um, I don't really know what the gun is. What color was it? It was, I think, silver. You believe it was silver? Yeah. Was it a semi-automatic or a revolver? You know the difference? Yeah. Um, a revolver is the one that spins. You load the bullets into the little round cylinder. Have you seen those sites? Yeah, I think it was a revolver. It was a revolver? Okay. What, what type of gun did you have? I told you, I don't, know, I don't really know about guns. Okay, can you describe the type of gun you had? It was black. I had a silver one too. Okay. Was your gun a revolver? Where'd you get it from? It was a mom. Okay, but where did you get it from? I came over there with two guns. How'd you end up with the black gun? And you said Tati had a gun? Mm -hmm. What type of gun did she have? What type? Was it a revolver, semi automatic? Pistol. Your brother had a gun? Anyone else in that apartment had a gun? You nod your head. That's you said no. Okay. So you you're saying Tati had a silver gun. You believe it was a, a pistol semi-automatic. Is that yes? Okay. And you had a black revolver. Is that that's accurate? And you say Mike had a silver revolver? That's yes? Okay. Then what happened after that? While y'all were in the room, where are y'all? Y'all like in the, in the living room? Is that yes? Yes. Okay. Let's go back to the time of the shooting. Where, where were you at the time of the shooting? I told you I was in the living room. In the living room. Where in the living room? In the where? In the corner. In the corner? Yeah. Over there with it, the, like in the kitchen? Yeah. With a, a little, then there's a, a table there and a couple of chairs. Hold on. Yeah. 
not the door. Bear, bear with me, okay? I'm showing you crime scene photograph 12. See the, the, the look? Is this where you were? Over in the corner? Here's over here? Or, or here? And this is the living room. I'm just gonna call this like little kitchen. Mm -hmm. Where are you at? I'm sitting right under the TV. Right over here. And that little counter right there. Okay. This is a small counter with a TV at. Over here. No, on the counter with a TV at. That's okay, I, I see it. Okay. Where is where is Tati? I don't know. You don't know where she was? Okay. What with Mike? I can't remember. Okay. And what what happens? All I heard was a gun go off. I just blink and I open my eyes, and then I look and see the tattoo on the ground. And where's Mike at that time? Where's the gun? You said Mike has a silver gun. Where is that? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, they were my guns. That's why I said I don't know. At the time you had a gunshot. Where's the silver gun now? Because I know she didn't. She didn't shoot herself. So, did you see Mike with a gun? It was all on the table. I thought I heard it. How many guns on the table? Two. Two. And who guns were? Okay. And where was your gun at that point? In your pocket. And then what? What happens? What? What does Mike say? I'm turning on the car camera and stuff. This is the first time I ever saw somebody like get shot like that, so I'm, I'm scared. And I just ran. You didn't hang around? For a minute I was, and then I ran. I kept coming back in the house. Wait. Sure she, all right. Did everyone come out the bedrooms? Yeah, they were screaming. And when they asked what happened, what did you say? I didn't say that. When they asked what happened, I was already gone. So I didn't know that they said that. That's when I was like, Ryan kept telling me wrong. So why is Mike telling you to run? I don't know. He ran to I heard. You heard? So you ran first? Yes, yes? Yeah. Why? Mike kept telling me run, I was scared. You know, Mike is a juvenile. You you grown. So whatever Mike says goes. Nah, but he was like running there. Like, for what? I think he run. See, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. The way you're describing this, you're trying to you saying you saying Mike shot him? I don't know who shot him. But you take off running. Yes. Does that make sense? Sometimes I can't even remember. It was too shocking. Were you playing with a gun early that day? Early that night? You saying no? Early that night. Yes. What you mean? Did you have the uh, Z, you know, Z? That's the other girl that was there. Right. Didn't she fire the gun? Yes. Okay. What led up to that, her firing the gun? Uh, what you mean, why she fired it? Yes. Whose gun was it, number one? Uh, I don't know who gun was that. 
That's what I'm saying. Like, the guns were harder than when I got there. Okay. Man, I guess she shot the gun. A video. Right. Were you there? When she shot the gun? Yes. Yeah, I had just got there. Did you tell her to fire the gun? No. She's fired on her own. You remember which gun that was? No. So if she says you told her to fire the gun, would that be a lie too? That's a real deal lie. Now that's a lie. Barely even know that. I'm trying to figure out why everyone's lying on me. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's the big issue here. Like, those, those cuffs are really going to have to stay on. You okay? I know it may not be the most comfortable. Are they hurting or are they just uncomfortable? I know they're uncomfortable. Ooh, man, too long. Okay. You have to use the restroom? Yes. Okay. Hold on. Let's Feels like it's jammed up the yeah. opposite way. Yeah. I'm not gonna pause the recorder. It's now 2.58 p.m. You mean we get that my pliers? I see if I can immediately send it. Right now, I think, went and got it. Bear with us, okay? Right now, yeah. Let's try to uh, get on this side. Yes, buddy, I'm sorry. I think it got twisted, the, the head of it chain somehow. I want to break one up in there. It does. Uh, it does. That may not call on FD. That's not good. Off. I've had that happen before. Yeah, but it's, it, it, it's, I think it's just pen. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to hold it away. I heard it. I heard it too. Let's just see if we can get it out first. Where's the... Uh, I think that got twisted. You're talking the little notch, the head on the three right here. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. Let's even get his other ones real quick. Let me see. It is. No, no, no. Let me get another one for you. Can I get you a long one? That's a good one. That's pretty solid. Sorry, buddy. I apologize about this. There's that one off. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Just, just want to get that one right there. Sorry, buddy. Thank you, Shane. Is that better? So you got to go to the restroom? Yes. Okay. We're not going back on tape. It is now 3.01 p.m. 
Curry. Is that better now? I mean, not Curry. Okay, well, Caribbeous? Mm -hmm. Okay. I apologize for that. We went off tape momentarily. You had to use the restroom, and also we needed to get the handcuffs off you. Did we ask you any questions about the case while we were off tape? No. Okay. So let's, let's go back to the actual shooting. I want to make sure I have this correct. And it's you, Mike, and Tati in the living room. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, hold your head up. Okay. And the gun goes off. Can you tell me what actually happened? Already did. Well, let me ask you some, some direct questions. Were you playing with the gun that day? Yes or no? You saying is that yes? Yes. Okay. How are you playing with the gun? I don't know. If you don't know how, how are we going to know? You say you're playing with the gun. Are you playing a, a, a game of Russian? You know what Russian roulette is? Um, yeah. Okay. Is that what you were playing? No. Okay. Was anyone playing Russian roulette? No. Okay. When you say playing with the gun, what 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 were you doing? I play with the gun. It's like it's a I can take the bullets out. Okay. And then I hear the click. So. Okay. So you take the bullets out and you pull the trigger and hear a click sound. Is that what you did on Wednesday? You you nod your head. Yes. Is that yes? Yes. Are you sure all the you sure all the bullets were out? Mm-hmm. Okay. How do you take the bullets out of a revolver? All right. I just want to make sure you really know how to take them out, because you are young. With a revolver. Spinning. The spin in the cylinder. Yeah. Okay. So you open the cylinder, open the cylinder up, and just dump the bullets into your hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many bullets were in it? Three. Three bullets? Is that the same gun that Z fired? No. That wasn't the same gun? Don't so. You don't think so? Could it have been and you just confused? Mm -hmm. So you say the bullets come out and then you close the cylinder and that, is that yes? Yeah. So at that point the gun is Safe to play with? No. No? You have to help me understand. You say you play with the gun. I'm trying to add, I'm trying to find out how do you play with it. You say you first take the bullets out. Is that accurate? Yes. Okay. And and then you say you hear it click. So I'm assuming you close the cylinder, pull the trigger, and it just goes click because it isn't loaded. Is that yes? Yes. Okay. So that's what you were doing Wednesday night?
Caribbean. Is that what you were doing Wednesday night? Not Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Wednesday night. You've done you do that. You've done that in the past. It was right. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to what you did Wednesday night. Did you point the gun at Mike? No. I didn't point the gun at nobody. But it, it was empty. Your gun was empty? Yes. So if it's empty, there's no danger in pointing at anyone. Mm -hmm. I mean, is, is that accurate? No, I didn't. What you didn't? Okay, well, explain to me what you say you play with the gun. What is that? It's a tool. Taking the bullets out, that's playing with the gun? Mm-hmm. And once you take the bullets out, what do you do with it? Are you waving it around, yeah. pointing it, playing? What? I told you it is with a clicking sound. Okay, so you're just pulling the trigger? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Are you, did you pull it once or did you pull it multiple times? or? Multiple times. Okay. About how many times? About five. About five times. Is it pointed at anyone? So, you're pulling the trigger, how are you holding the gun, is it? Yes. Okay, so not in the air, more to the side, is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. And the muzzle is not pointed at anyone? And you pull it, what, five times? And it goes click each time? Yes, sir. Okay. While you were doing that, what was taunting? I don't know. You don't know? Was she in the room? I don't know. Told you. I barely remember what happened in my... Was Mike playing with a gun? What is that? Is that yes? Yes. So what, what was he doing? I don't know. I don't know my eyes on him. So you didn't, you just assuming he was playing with the gun because you didn't see him play with, you didn't see him play with the gun, did you? At first I did, then I did. Okay, let's, let's talk about that. You said at first you did. How was he playing with the gun? I don't You don't know or you, you just don't want to tell us? Or is this something that you're trying to forget? Because multiple people, multiple people are telling us you said it was an accident. And it sort of sounds like if you're pulling the trigger, one may have been in the been in the cylinder, and that would have been an accident. Is that what happened? I would know if one was in there. It was not nailed in there. Well, why is everyone saying it was an accident? That you shot her, but it was an accident. I don't know why would they say it would be probably because I was the last one to get come to the police, but I don't know. But you didn't come to the police. So let's let's at least be real. You took off running, correct? No. So not only are all the people in the house lying on you, those three detectives who arrested you are lying on you also. Uh, it's not to go running. Yeah, you tried to get you tried to get out the back door. No, I peeped out the back door. Okay. I went back in the house. Okay. You knew you had a warrant? No. Okay. Now I'm, I'm still trying to figure out why are they saying that you shot her and you told them it was an accident? See, that sounds believable. 
did you mistakenly tell him it was an accident? I want you to read this. So when me and Darian was in the room playing the game, I heard a loud gunshot. Then everybody started screaming. So me and Darian ran out the room and I saw Tati on the floor. And then I started going crazy and I asked Mike what happened. He told me Kyrie shot her on accident by trying to take the bullet out the bullets out the gun. And then Tyree told me it was an accident himself. That's a lot, right? That that seemed to be a a, a theme. Is it I don't know, is that a lot? Oh, you speak to her. Okay. So that's a lie. Yes. Okay. So when Mike told us pretty much the same thing that you were playing with the gun and accidentally shot it, he's lying too. When when Mari said that that she wasn't there, she was FaceTiming you at the time, and you accidentally shot him. She's lying too. That's what Mari said, but is she lying? Uh, yeah. Is she lying too? I'm, I'm. Please tell me why is this big conspiracy? It was an accident. You just have to man up to it. That it was an accident. The more you lie, the more guilty it makes you sound. Kyrie, hold your head up, man. You you are a man. Can you just hold your head up? Okay. Have I been fair to you? Try to treat you like a man or treat you with respect. I don't have any issues with you. You've never done anything to me. Your history is not that bad. Really not bad at all. This is not something that you would, at least I don't believe that you would intentionally do. From what I understand, you and Tati had little issues between you guys. What you mean? That's those little issues, like she's mad at you or you mad at her. Is that accurate? Were you mad at her? No. Okay, was she mad at you? No. Okay, okay. So, sounds like it's possibly just kids playing around with the gun. Is that yes? Yes. Okay. Did you accidentally shoot him? It was me. Did Mike accidentally shoot him? I don't know. You don't know? You don't know, but he knows. And not one person has told us that Mike shot her. Not a one. Because nobody was really in there. That was a topic of conversation. Once, once that shot was fired, everyone wanted to know what happened. I can hear it on a 911 call. You were not there for the 911 call. Were you still there? Yes. Okay. Not a one person say Mike shot her, but you. Look, if Darian and Ayana is in the room, and Z is in the room, how do everybody say it's me? And when Mike, the last one in there, after I leave, Mike in there, 
So they ask him, Mike, what you think he'll say? I would hope he tells the truth. Because number one, everyone should have stayed there. That's what I was saying. That's what you were saying? But why didn't you stay? You, you're the adult. I told you I was scared. You don't think they were scared either? 13 year old stayed. But a eight, a 13 year old girl stayed. But an 18 year old man is so afraid that he leaves and had done nothing. This is what you want me to believe. This 18 year old man has done nothing. And this 13 year old girl who's also done nothing, but she stays. Does that make sense? Usually, people who do something what they should not have done, either, you know, sometimes intentionally, but sometimes by accident, I understand that, they leave. But you're going to have to man up. The truth is always the best way, especially if something was accidental. What happened to the gun you had? Left it there. You left it at the scene? Is that yes? Yes. Why are people saying you you left with it? It's <laughs> lying to you, bro. I left with the gun. The gun was out there when we got there. Who was there? It was there? I said, who was there? When we got there? Yes. Who, who do you think was there? Daria. Okay. His girlfriend. Okay. I was 13 years old. Okay. That's it. Okay, so, so you know the answer. So you don't have to ask me if you know the answer. So you ask Mike what gun at? What do you think? Will we not be doing our job? I left the gun wasn't there. I'll say that again. When I left the gun it wasn't with me. Who was it with? You don't know? I told you I saw two guns on the table. And the one I had, I left it on the counter. Okay. At what point did you put it on the counter? Like 10 minutes before everything went off, about five minutes. Is that the same gun you were playing with? And you left it on the counter? Is that yes? Yes. Why'd you put it on the counter? Because that wasn't my gun. It was Mike's gun? Is that yes? Yeah. Did Mike pick you up that day to go pick the girls up? So that, that's a lie too? He said he picked me up. He, he picked you up from the apartment, drove you to Circle K, picked up the girls. Is that a lie? He brought the girls to his son. Okay, but aren't you in the car with him? No. Are you capable of telling the truth? So, because they said this, that mean I'm lying? Oh, you are lying. You are lying. I'm willing to help someone as much as I can. But it has to be the truth. But don't, don't expect me to lie. Do not expect me to go to court and say I believe what you said. 
Because for me to believe everything you said, there's a big conspiracy out there to lie on you. Everybody. Everybody from the people who were there all the way up to the officers that arrested you. It's all one big lie to frame Caribbeus of this seven, the death of this 17 year old girl. And it's a shame that you don't even have the, the heart to say what really happened. I, I know you're not. And you know you're not. And that's why you stayed on the run. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. People have been telling you, you need to tell the truth. Who told you that? Don't, don't worry about that. Okay? This isn't my first rodeo. But I, I look at me, Kyrie. Look at me. Seriously. Seriously. Lying always makes it worse. Always makes it worse. And there's nothing I can do about that. Absolutely nothing I can do about Q-Line besides trying to convince you to tell the truth. The same, and that's what should happen if something was accidental. It was accidental. That's what should happen. The truth. The truth. You're so afraid of the truth. And this 17 years lost her life. You'll wake up in the morning. She's being buried. And I'm quite sure she died thinking that you were her friend. Is that the way you honor her? Well, she can't speak now. Don't lie on her. I'm not lying on her. She knows who shot her. She knows exactly who shot her. Carrie, hold your head up. Hold your head up. I know it's bothering you. And it's going to eat at you for the rest of your life unless you get it out. You're not a killer. You're not a stone blood killer. This is going to bother you. You're not fooling anyone. Everyone over there knows what happened. You're not fooling us. Accidents happen. You're not that familiar with the mechanics of a revolver. The gun is cocked and you don't even know how to decock it. That's no big deal. Because if you were a stone cold killer, things like that you would know about. So I'm not saying you should have had, y'all, you guys should have had guns. You shouldn't have. But this case is not about that. It's a 17 year old. Her mom is devastated. Devastated. And now you're trying to put blame on Mike.
Hold your head up. Hold your head up. You saying Mike killed her. No, I'm not saying that, bruh. Well, then who killed her? It's just, it's just three people in the room. One can't talk. Cannot speak for herself. The other we have spoken to. He said it's you. So what is your theory? Tell me your theory. How did she die? Kyrie, hold your head up. Look me in my eye, my eye and tell me how that woman died. Did I already tell you? If, you? if you say you don't know, that's a lie. And that's just an easy way out. You don't know. Is that your answer? If Mike did it, tell us. Me and you, Detective Stanley in this room, if one of us gets shot, I don't care if my back is turned this way. I can tell you who shot who. If you deceased, he did it. If he's deceased, you did it. So let's not make this something that's where we have 20 people in the room and a shot is fired. That's not what we have here. We got three people. And the more I talk to you, I'm beginning to wonder, was it truly an accident? Because why all the lies? There's usually a reason why people lie. Just tell us what happened. What happened? Just tell us the truth. What happened? Just want to say it again. I want you just to tell the truth. The truth. Not this. Not this. I hear a shot. She's dead. I don't know if Mike did it, and I know I didn't do it. That's a bunch of bull. How can you sell that to anyone? How can you sell that to the prosecutor? Who may want to believe that this was an accident? Hmm. Take the stand. Caribius, it is... Are you aware how, how things go? Kyrie Reeves, I can't speak to you. You're trying to hide there in your sweatshirt. Do you know how, how this goes? That this will eventually go over to, to a state attorney and then ultimately to, to a jury? And, and this, this is all going to be shown to a jury? And do you expect 12 other people to believe the version of events that you're telling us here, because we don't believe any of it. We, we've spoken to other people, but do you expect them to believe what, you, what you're telling us? That that's not going to fly, man. It, it, Detective Montford has said to you over and over, just the truth, Grievous. If this was truly an accident, get it out there, man. Because if, if you don't, and we'll go out the door a day from now, a week from now, a month from now. You're going to be saying, God damn it. I wish I just said the truth because I looked like an idiot in there saying there was a gun. It just go went off. I don't know how a gun just doesn't go off by itself. It, 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 it can't. It can't happen. So just take the opportunity to tell us the truth. Can you do that? Well, I knew it was an accident. Like I said, it was an accident. Well, how did the accident occur? Because if we laid a gun here on the table, it would stay there. 
until someone pulled the trigger and went off. They don't go off just by themselves, just sitting there. It, it's, it's, it can't happen. This is your time now. This is your time. There are no tricks here. No tricks. You need to get this past you. You need to get this past you. Get the truth out of get the truth out. You do know right now you're just being charged. You won't be formally charged. I mean a a decision won't to formally charge you won't be made until probably the next 30 days. Okay. At that point, if it's truly an accident, if it's truly an accident, the prosecutor will absolutely take that in consideration. Yeah, tell me that's in just 30 days. I, I, no, I'm not telling you that. I'm saying it will be about 30 days before the prosecutor makes a formal, will make a decision whether to charge you and what to charge you with. And that's what's so important about getting the truth out. Now, will you be bonded out by then? I don't know. I don't have any control over that. They gonna give me a bond? They may. I don't lie to people. They may. Uh, but you need you need to deal with with what you can. But I can tell you right now, lying never helps. It makes it worse. Lift lift your head off the table. Gary, if this was truly an accident, just 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 be honest and say so. I didn't say it was an accident. Well, I I heard you say that, but you didn't tell us how it became an accident. I don't remember. You 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 know what? You remember certain things. And you you can't convince us that you just don't remember. That's not truth. It was probably the most significant thing, probably the traumatic thing, I, I don't know, that probably happened to you in your life. A woman that you cared about died right in front of you from a gunshot. That must have been startled the hell out of you. It was so startling, you didn't even reach out to contact us since that. It's It's been a week, over a week since that had happened. And you didn't even come forward to talk to us and say, hey, man, it was an accident. Didn't mean for it to happen. She was a she was a great person. Everyone said that. No one said that you're a bad guy at all. No one has once said that. But we need to get past this. I don't know. I, you, I didn't see it. You know, it, 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 that just didn't happen, man. And it's just not going to fly, Kyrievius. And I think deep down, you know that. We wouldn't have you here sitting in an interview room if, if we didn't have all our interviews conducted and our evidence obtained, man. And, and once the ship sails, man, you're not going to be able to get back on it. You're going to be stuck and locked into. Let me ask you this. Is this the is anything down the road, say a week, 30 days, six months? Is anything about your version of events about what happened going to change? Sure. is what you've told us here today that you just don't know what happened that you happen to be there with a gun 
Are we going to get down the line and you say, no, you know what? Now that I think about it, this is what happened. Is anything going to change about what you're telling us here today down the road? What's going to change? Let me make it easy for you. Um, cause I, I, I can see that it's laying heavy on your heart. And I'm going to try to simplify this for you. Did Tati shoot herself? Is that no? Is that just, I have, you say no. If that's no. Okay. Did Mike shoot Tati? That's real simple, just yes or no. Briggs, I already know the answer to it. Because according to you, you and Mike are not that close, correct? You know him, but you're not that close. Is that accurate? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think if... Are you better friends with Tati or Mike? Tati. Tati. So there's no doubt in my mind, if Mike had killed Tati, you would have stayed there and you would have told us. And not only that, absolutely today you would have said he did. But you're not saying he did because you know he didn't. And you know that's the wrong thing to do, to have that man charged with a death that he did not do. Your people raised you better than that. And that's why you can't even say that. That's why you, you don't even have the heart to even say that. Because you know the worst thing you, you can do in America? I've been doing this for 25 years, and this is what I always say, the one thing that I cannot live with. is incarcerating an innocent man for something that he did not do. Now, I've had cases that went unsolved. That I can live with. So there's some guilty guys out there. That does not bother me that much. It would tear me up if I said something or did something that incarcerated an innocent man who did nothing. And you know what? You feel the same way. That's why you don't have to... That's why you cannot look me in my eyes and say, Mike pulled the trigger and killed Tati. Even by accident. Because you know that would be a lie. And that's, and that's definitely really bad. Because you would not want someone to do that to you. Michael, hold your head up. Hold your head up. Hold your head up. Listen, you're not the worst person in the world. It happened. I know you wish you could take it back. We wish you could also. But that's how life is. Sometimes life throws you curveballs. You're not the first person that has shot someone accidentally. But in every case I've had, when that's happened, they've come in and said what happened or, or why it happened. And if it was an accident, it was an accident. And they say what a gun is. So we recover that also. All those things link together when something is, is accidental. I understand you, you are, you are concerned now. You've never been in a situation like this and you've probably never slept over two or three hours since this incident. So 
So I'm going to ask you again, like I said, I'm going to simplify it. Did Tata shoot herself? Earlier you answered no. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Did Mike shoot Tati? Okay. That only leaves one person, and it still can be an accident. Did you accidentally shoot Tati? Did you accidentally shoot him? Notice I did not say, did you intentionally shoot her? Because I don't believe that happened. You nod your head, is that yes? Oh. Is that yes? Hold, hold your head up, hold your head up. You, you're a grown man. You nod your head, is that a yes? Tati did not shoot herself. You say Mike did not shoot her. So once again, did you accidentally, accidentally shoot Tati? Okay. Okay. So, so you have it out there now. Let's let's just deal with it. I want to be able to tell the the prosecutor. He may have made a mistake, but at least he was honest. So let's talk about how this accident occurred. You know, well, just tell me what you remember. At some point, I know you said you were pulling the trigger. Did you mistakenly leave a bullet in there? Or did you not know how to operate the gun? We've heard that also. But you need to tell us. You say it's an accident, but tell us why it's an accident. It's nothing to be ashamed of. You know, we have police officers who accidentally shot other officers. Accidentally shot civilians. Yeah. You don't know that. You have to explain it to us. Every accident is different. Some accident 
are considered reckless. Some are just accidental, or just an accident. That's what we're trying to figure out. What was happening? I know you say you're pulling the trigger and you pulled it five times. Was that was that truthful? That was that day though. What did you do that day? You're saying it's accidental, but please explain to us why the shooting was accidental. You've gone this far. You might as well get it all out there now. You're saying it was accidental shooting. So please, please explain to us why. I'm not saying it wasn't. Oh, Carrie, hold your head up. Hold your head up. Hold your head up. Hold your head up. Okay. I think we've been fair to you and... We're just trying to get to the truth, and I know you're having a, a, a very difficult time with it, but you acknowledge it was an accident, but you have not told us why. And you're the only one can tell us that. You're the only one. What were you doing at the time the gun went off. Um, well, I guess, I guess the hammer or something. I don't know. So was the hammer back? I can tell you, I can't remember. Well, you, you said something about the hammer. I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Okay. Did you drop the gun and go off? What do you think? think it may be one of them. Say that again. I think it may be one of them. The gun fell? Carrie, I'm going to tell you this much, and I usually don't get into specifics of a case. But we went to the autopsy, and it's almost impossible. Talked to be shot 
where she was shot in that manner, in that angle, if the gun fell. So just tell us what was the accident? Get it off your chest. I'm trying. I can't remember. I'm trying to remember. What you remember was an accident. But what makes what makes it an accident? True. You said you shot Tati by accident. So that means accidental shooting. What makes it an accident? The gun going off. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right. The gun going off. Okay. Were you were you pointing the gun at her at the time? Were you playing around with the gun? And did you think it was empty? And there was one in the chamber? Except for him in an interview. Yes. Right. What makes it an accident? Just waving it around just a little. Okay. How, how are you waving it? Well, number one, when you're waving it, did you think it was loaded? Is that no? No. So, had you emptied the gun? Carrie, hold your head up. Had you taken the bullets out? Let me simplify. Did you take the bullets out? There's only one to three bullets in there. Yeah. How did you know it was one to three? Because Mike showed me. Okay. And how did Mike show that to you? Did he open the cylinder? Yes. So were you able to count them? Say yes? Mm -hmm. And you counted three bullets? Okay. And we're talking about the black gun or the silver gun? Black. The black gun. Okay. So the cylinder closes and there's, there's three gun, there's three bullets in there. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Now, how does it accidentally, what makes this an accident? So you know you have three live rounds in there and what has, has six, it holds six? Okay, so you have three live rounds and three empty chambers. So what makes it an accident? I just told you the gun absolutely went off. Right. You had to you had to squeeze the trigger. So for you to squeeze the trigger and it accidentally goes off. You had to assume that there wasn't a there wasn't a round there that it was one of the empty. Yes. So you thought it was you thought it was empty. I don't want you to say yes, just agree with me. So whatever the truth is, so you're saying that three rounds in there, are they, are they beside each other? Or, you, or do you have one here and then, then you're missing and there's not one and there's another one or were they all together? Beside each other. They're all beside each other. So, so when you close it, is it now, is it where one of the bullets are? So where the hammer could hit a bullet? 
Because I had, I thought the bullet wasn't right there. So you thought the bullet wasn't there? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so if you pull the trigger, it's no big deal. It goes click. Mm-hmm. And you pull the trigger and it, and it fires. Is that the way it happened? So do you know how you made that mistake? No. No? Had you ever, had that ever happened in the past where you had maybe one or two bullets in there and you closed it and pulled the trigger and it didn't mm-hmm. fire? Okay. It's, that's almost somewhat of a form of Russian roulette. That's really kind of how it is. You put a, a bullet in there, spin it. But well, it wasn't playing Russian roulette. Okay. It wasn't even doing nothing like that. Okay. So you didn't think that was a bullet uh, ready to be fired when the gun was it already caught back? The hammer was the hammer pulled back? You don't know. But you said you have pulled the trigger in the past with bullets in there, but you knew that it wasn't going to fire. Is that yes? Yes. How many times did you pull the trigger? Because if you, did you pull the trigger and it was empty, but then, you know, then it, then it's the next round. You understand what I'm saying? So how, is that what happened? So you just pulled it just that one time. And were you standing up or sitting down? I don't know. After the shot goes off, what, what do you remember? What do you remember? Is Tati, is she standing? My eyes blink. Yeah, your eyes did what? Blink. Blink? Right. And I opened them. And I saw on the floor. And then what happened? Everybody was screaming just to... Mike to get a run. So Mike really did tell you to run? Mm-hmm. Is that yes? Yes. Why did he want you to run? I don't know. I was scared. It sounds like he didn't want you to get in trouble. Because I was going to stay. But you ran because Mike told you to run? Yeah. Okay, and you were scared. You know, I can believe that, that you were scared. Did you take the gun with you? Yeah. If you did, it's no big deal. I did. So that's how I ever saw all of them guys. I swear. I've never saw them guys since then. Did Tati have a gun? I know you said that earlier, but did she really have a gun? You nod your head. Yes. Yes. That night she had a gun? Yes. It was a semi-automatic? Yes. And where did she get the gun from? That wasn't her gun. Okay. Whose gun was it? I don't know. Was it your gun? Yes. Mm-hmm. I didn't have a gun. So it was Mike's gun. So was Mike the gun guy? I have a gun. Right. You say you got your gun from the gun you use for Mike. Yes. Okay. Did Tati get the gun she had from Mike? I don't know. She had one I got there. So when you picked her up, she had it? Mm-hmm. No. No. When did when did you get your gun? Well, you say Mike had both guns. When did he give, is that yes? Yes. When did he give the black gun to you? Oh, no. We went to my house. To the apartment? 
as once he had picked the girls up. Mm-hmm. Did you ask him for it? Mm-hmm. So he just give you a gun? So he just gave you a gun? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you, you hold your head up. Hold your head up. So you asked him if he could hold it? Yes. Okay. Did he tell you it was loaded? Earlier you said it had three rounds in it. Okay. And you know that to be true because you saw the three rounds? When you saw the three rounds, were you holding the gun? Okay, so you familiar enough with guns to know how to open up the cylinder and check? No, oh, is that yes? Yes. Okay, so you saw it had three rounds and you're saying that three rounds were together? Is that yes? Yes. Okay. And you closed it. I just want to make sure I have this correct. And you closed it and when you closed it, you were under the impression that uh, it wasn't loaded. Yes. And you only fired it that one time. Mm-hmm. And the only reason you left was because Mike told you to leave. And I was scared. And you were scared. And I believe that. Did you think you were going to jail? Did that play a role in you leaving? Okay. But you left the gun there at the scene. Are you sure about that? Is that yes? Yes, possibly. Who took the gun? I know you may not have done that night, but that had to be the topic of conversation. What happened to the guns? Who took the guns? That's what I was trying to figure out. No one admitted to it? Is that no? No. Rivers, you've gone this far. So if you know where those guns are, you need to tell us. Because we we need to get them. That's my last time ever seeing them. I ain't seen them since then, I swear to God. When you left, where did you go? Nowhere? You stayed in the complex? I'm saying, where did you go? Just in different apartments. Oh, okay. Whose apartment? Uh, the whose apartment is. Did you go inside? No, I didn't go inside. So you just in the, just hanging outside in the apartment complex? You guys say yes, you nod your head? Yes. Where, which apartment complex? Was it on Center Lane? Because you know the apartment's right across from there. That's where it was, across from there. Across from there. So you were over there? Yes. Okay. Where at in the parking lot? I was in the parking lot. I was sitting on stairs. Okay, on the stairwell? Okay. Did you know anyone in that stairwell? No? You know, on your head. Is that no? No. Did you see the police? Yes. Okay. So where you're positioned, you can you can still see Cinder Lane and you can see the police coming? No, where I was, I can't really see them, but I hear them. Okay, so you hear the sirens. Okay. How long do you stay there? About 30 minutes. Or an hour. And then where do you go? Okay. That's what your people say? And me. And you. Okay. And that's where we dropped your brother off at. Mm-hmm. So were you home when we dropped your brother off? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that yes? You saying, mm-hmm. is that yes? I wasn't there. Okay. Where were you when we dropped your brother off? Mercy Drive? Who do you know on Mercy? Is it 
people else. Okay. Where do they stay? In the palms? Yeah. What's your people name? You're not going to get in any trouble. It's called Fat Boy. Fat Boy? Which apartment does Fat Boy stay in? I don't know. Yes, that's your cousin? Yeah. What's his true name? Come on, and that's your cousin? Not blood, but we call each other cousins. Which apartment he stays in? You know what I'm saying? I don't know which apartment. Is it on the... I don't even know, like, the numbers or nothing. I don't know the building names. I'm not from around there. How many times have you been there? About three times. Three times? I just moved there. Well, they just moved there? Yeah. How long did you stay there? Two days. Two days? Mm -hmm. Were you afraid to speak with us? Like, if I knew you left a card and come out and came down here, that's what I'm saying. I did leave a card at I where you said you stay, 3920. Nobody told me. Okay. Somebody took the card because they called me and said, I can tell you the exact time. The boy Robert, who you say is my cousin. Robert's your cousin? Yes. Did Robert ever tell you he spoke with me? No, I never spoke with him. Is he a true cousin? Yeah, he's a true cousin. So why would he hide that from you? Because if, if that was anybody else, the first thing I'm, I would do is, cuz, what's going on? Some yeah. homicide detective left a card at the door. Wouldn't you do the same thing? Yeah, but I guess he couldn't get in contact with me. You said you were staying there. I stayed there. I was staying there around that time when it happened. After you stayed two days in Mercy, where'd you go? I was, I don't even know where I was like, sleeping outside. What made you go to your aunt's house today? She called me. She called you? Yeah. Okay. So you still had your phone with you? No, nah, she called somebody that I was around. Okay. Who were you around? My people. Who is that? My cousin. And hey, what's your cousin's name? Brittany Wallace. I'm sorry? Brittany Wallace. Brittany Wallace? Mm -hmm. Okay. So your aunt called Brittany Wallace, mm -hmm. and what did she want? She wanted me. She wanted me. What did she want you for? And she heard what had happened? I guess. Okay. So she was concerned for you? She wanted to She wanted to um, get in contact with you, really. She was in contact with me? Okay. Did you give her the information? Um, well, I, I left my card. I told you I never saw the card. Right, but Robert had the card. Her and Robert related? No. No? You know, I'm easy to find. Orlando Police Department. Just You can just call and say whoever worked in the case on Cinder Lane. So it's, I'm, I'm not... I make it very, very easy to find me. Everyone I spoke to have my card and my cell phone number. Because I want to speak to people so we can find out what happened, especially you. So I did everything I possibly could. But let's not rehash that because what's done is done. And it's really not a big part of, of, of the case. Do you feel a little better now? I get some water. You absolutely can.
listen, Kyrie, what you have to do at this point is be honest and tell your story about what happened. Okay. Okay. I hope what you told me is 100% truth. Okay. You've gone this far. There's really no, no need to lie. There really isn't. You're not the first person, and unfortunately, won't be the last person to shoot someone by accident. I don't know what's going to happen. I make no promises, but I do know the law is very, very different from between an intentional shooting, an accidental shooting, and a premeditated shooting. What you mean? Premed premeditated is... When you go somewhere with the intent to kill someone. So like if you were mad at Tati and say, you know, I'm going to kill her. But you said they treated different. The, the law, the law is mean? different. It's different, di different statues, different charges, different sentences. But a lot would depend on you. A lot would depend on can we recover those guns? Because as of today, a gun that took a 17 year old's life is still out there. And we spoke to everyone. And no one has, no one has seemed to be able to lead us to where the gun is, and that is so very important. Very important for you, very important. Because that's what happened with accidental shootings, usually. We can get the gun back. The person was honest, totally uh, cooperative. We get the gun off the, off the street. I don't know if it was stolen, if you legally own well, I know you didn't legally um, own it. Um, but at least we have it off the street. There are instances, instances where people actually get the gun back. But every case is different. At some point, You'll be given an, uh, you'll have an attorney and he or she will, will explain it to you. And the good thing about an attorney is they, they're going to do what's best for you. What's best for you. And I'm not going to lie to you. I really feel that this was not an intentional act. That this was a, this was an accident. But it's all about what we could prove. The evidence in the case. Had you spoke with us earlier, may things have been different? Maybe. Maybe. But we can't go back. We can't go back. One thing I feel very confident in, had you not been arrested, we would have never, we wouldn't be speaking today. Because as you see, we let a week go by. Because I would give anyone the first day, the first few hours, But all that's all that's is over. That's over with. That's that's over with. You know, my biggest concern is trying to recover those guns. That is my biggest concern. I would love to be able to tell the prosecutor, the judge, or whoever that Kyrie was very instrumental in us recovering those guns. And we have them off the street. Is there something you think you can do? Not in here. Not in here. So you think if you were out, you could get you can get the guns? Yes. How well, how would you do that when you excuse me? Everyone has one of them who was there. Cause they might don't tell y'all. But they'll tell you. 
You think they actually tell you what happened to the guns? Okay. No, I, don't, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if you'll be given a bond. And if you are, if you're going to bond out, that'll be up to you, you and your, your family. But I won't try to block it. What you mean? We can block. We can try to block a bond. Like if you have a bond hearing, we can say why we think this person is um, is dangerous for the public, for this person to be out, and they need to stay in jail until until they face trial. If what you told me is true, that's not something I, I think that I'll be doing. But first, we need to figure out if you're telling us uh, the entire truth. So we still have a lot to do. But I can tell you the biggest thing is, can we need those guns? We need those guns. Okay. I can say whatever about what I would do, but ultimately this case goes to a prosecutor. Okay. And they will make the final decision. But it always helps. Always. We can get a gun off the street. Especially one that's been used in the depth of a 17-year-old. Because without it. That means someone else can make the same mistake again. Or it could be an intentional Killing. And you can be forever, forever linked to it because it's still out there. So can you tell us at least who, who who can we speak to to find the gun? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. You don't know? All right, Kyrie. I have, to, I have to take you for your word on that. Even though I think you know something. To take a stand? Uh, nothing else at this time. Kyrie, do you have any questions for me? Okay. Listen, I know it was difficult today, but I think you did the right thing. And with all that being said, it still has to go to the process. I'm still hoping we can recover the guns. I'm gonna do everything I can. Because that's, that's the big thing now in this case. Will you have a bond? Yes. When you go before the judge tomorrow, it'll be tomorrow. Right now, you don't have a bond. You go before the judge, that's when he or she can set a bond for you. Right. If I do get a bond, how much would it be? You're asking the wrong person. Yeah, only a judge. Right. A judge can... You can go all the way from zero, get just out on your own recognizance, to no bond. So I won't comment on it because it'd be inaccurate. But you'll you'll find out tomorrow. So if you do get out, I'm gonna leave you my card. Uh, if you can find that gun or lead us to the gun, that would be big in this case. Okay. Okay. I keep them from my desk. All right, Carrie. 
Sit tight. And the officer taking to taking you to thirty seven. I say you'll see the judge in the morning and hopefully they give you a bond. Because if that leads to getting the gun back, uh, I can live with that. This statement will end at 4.22 p.m. And today's date is July 18th, 2019. And case number is 2019-259-255. And we're here in interview room number six. All right, Gary. Seriously, I don't I don't think you're a, a bad person. I will say this once it's over with, have it made the how it ends. Leave guns alone. No, 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 no. Leave leave them alone, man. We know y'all like to play with guns. Everyone say that's just sort of what y'all do. But leave that alone. Leave that alone. The gun is really nothing to play with. Because a situation like this, yeah. decent kids, a lot of you guys had really bad records. And this how it ends. So, um, at least I can tell the family that you did man up. So, at least that hopefully that order, or that that gives them some some sort of um, peace. But they have a long road ahead of them. Long road. Is there anything you want to say to the family? Did you want me to tell them or did you know the family? No. Bring a card back in here and then that'll be it, okay? Hey, Caribbean. They're gonna bring you down now. You want to uh, drink of the, not drink of the water? And uh, my partner's giving me that business card. Well, that was the interview some of you requested. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I like to do your requests when possible, but I can't always do them. We have the largest private collection of raw interrogation videos on all of planet Earth, and I'm really proud of that. And I know you're proud of me, and I'm proud of you too, because I like that you keep coming back to Crime Circus. It means a lot to me. I don't consider you just a subscriber or a circus fam or a fan or any of that stuff. I actually consider you my friends and my family. Anyways, until next time, remember to stay safe out there. Leave me a comment, subscribe, make sure you're subscribed. 
smash the like button, and always stay safe out there.